Merci, Dan. Welcome, Greg. Um, you know the House von Wantrauen? Ah, the House von Wantrauen is, is, is a very popular show in America. Yeah, I watched it all winter. It's ah, very good. U gelooft het, u gelooft het niet natuurlijk. Hè? Maar ik heb hier, uh, ik heb hier de, de rating zet dat in Amerika. Kijk, zijn onze kijkcijfers in de Verenigde Staten. U ziet, die liggen vrij hoog. Het is, we liggen vooral goed in Ohio, in Wisconsin en in Massachusetts. Minnesota. In, in, uh, in Californië hebben we ook hele, hele goede cijfers, want daar staan we zelfs hoger dan de Cot Madam en Gaston en Leo en, uh, en die talkshow Lucky Look. Uh, uh, dus uh, we zijn trouwens, trouwens. Um, Greg, how, how do we say goodbye at the end of the show? Chamaillé. Chamaillé. Yo, de Greg. Yo, de mannen. Je kent dat allemaal. Dat kennen ze allemaal in Amerika, dames en heren. Greg. Greg, as you know our program, you know that we usually follow our central guest during a whole day. Um, that's, that's what I've heard, yeah. We didn't follow you. No, uh, <laughs> why not? Do you remember what you did on Saturday? Uh, this Saturday, yeah. I was racing uh, Head Volk. Yeah, we know because it right. gave us the opportunity to spend the whole day with your wife. Ah, that's what you <laughs> and, did. And your kids. Inderdaad, dames en heren, want we zijn uh, in de slag gegaan met mevrouw Le Monde, en zonder dat Greg het wist, hebben haar een hele dag gevolgd. We hadden s ochtends met haar afgesproken in Gent, want daar ging ze Greg brengen bij het Europa Hotel waar de Zets logeerden. Maar daar ging het al bijna mis, want groot was onze verbazing als Greg ineens uit het hotel komt gestapt. Helemaal in fietsuitrusting en klaar om naar de start te rijden. Even waren we in paniek, want er was geen mevrouw Le Monde te zien, maar een telefoontje lost alles op. Cathy wacht op ons in Marken. We were waiting at the Europa Hotel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Greg, Greg said, it. oh, it's stupid if I drive twice, he'd drive himself. So what am I supposed to say? I just, okay, okay, well. You want me to do what we normally do yeah. on a normal day? Yeah. It's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah? Yes. <laughs> Even voor de middag gaat Cathy wandelen met de drie kinderen en met Becky, de lerares die Jeffrey privéles geeft als de Le Mons in Europa zijn. Dit zijn de benen van Jeffrey, de oudste Le Mons, acht jaar en al een verhoede sportfanaat. Hij heeft de natuurlijke klasse van zijn vader. Bij Scott, vier jaar, gaat het iets minder vlot. En dit is de jongste Simone, twee jaar vol bewondering voor de kortrijdse schapen. Jeffrey stapt na een tijdje af, het seizoen is nog lang en hij wil er pas tegen de zomer staan. En dan is het middag en eten de Le Monde chips met een ham sandwich. Dat is een dubbele snee brood met aan de ene kant mosterd, aan de andere kant mayonaise en daartussen een plak ham. Terwijl Jeffrey en Scott in de tuin spelen, te slapen. Wat zag je uit de wakker? Wat zag je uit de wakker? Daarna begint Cathy aan de voorbereiding van het avondmaal. Ze maakt meatloaf, een typisch rek in geen weken gegeten heeft. Cathy is sinds een week weer hier en ze blijft ook de rest van het seizoen in Europa. He couldn't stand it, so we're not going to be apart anymore this year. And what about you? I can do better. He misses not only me, he misses the kids, America, the house, everything. So like. You know, he, he leaves everything behind where I have everything but him. So, I can handle it better than he can. <laughs> en dan kijkt Cathy vol spanning naar de rechtstreekse reportage van de omloop Het Volk. En 15 kilometer voor de streep meent ze plots haar man te herkennen. Oh, I think I saw Daddy. That's Greg, isn't it? That's his shoes. Yes, that is Greg. Leah. Yes. <laughs> Kort na de aankomst laten we Cathy achter en stellen we ons verdekt op om de thuiskomst van Greg te filmen. Cathy belooft ons om naar buiten te komen lopen als Greg eraan komt. Nog een probleempje met de handrem. En ja hoor, daar is ze als een volleerde actrice. Greg, you 
really didn't know anything? No, I can't believe you're, you're filming when I, what yeah. if I did something that I shouldn't, you shouldn't see? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we hoped. <laughs> well, we heard Kathy saying, my life's pretty boring. Do you realize your wife's life's pretty boring? Well, I think she'll have to change it. Couple kids. <laughs> uh, a week ago, Kathy returned to Europe on Monday, and the day after, on Tuesday, you quit the race in Sicily and came back to Kortrijk. Is that a coincidence? Uh, no, but it was a good reason to go home. <laughs> But uh, my team thought it was. Roger Leger thought uh, that my legs, my bad legs, just coincided with my wife's arrival in Europe. But uh, I was sick just the week before Sicily, so and I was going downhill. But then you said Sicily was not your cup of tea, but it's your wife that's that is your <laughs> cup of tea, of course. I much, I pretty much per, prefer to be with my wife than than in Sicily. That's for sure. Yeah, you you always talk about your wife in interviews. We wonder what's so special about Kathy. Oh, it's, it's the ensemble with, with, with the kids and the wife. And, uh, she's, she's very supportive. She's helped me throughout my career. And, and she, uh, cook, she cooks, of course. Yeah, and other stuff, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the cooking is quite important. Yeah. Well, I, I, well, I do cooking. I cook I, also. You cook, but, but you looks, eat most of the time. It I looks understood. like food is, is one of the most important things in your life. Got, no. Got, would, would, you mind, would you mind coming over here? Most important. Oh, I don't want to get on that. No, come on, come on. You should, you should, of course. No way. Of course, of course. Just okay. get on, get on it. Two, two feet, two feet, and the whole body. Ooh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll show it. I'll show it to the, to the camera. He's very well, very well, gewichtlos naar Europa gekomen, dames en heren. No, you're. It's about 73 kilos. 73. It's it's better than other years, isn't it? No, I'm actually heavier, but I'm, I have less fat. I skied a lot, so I have a lot of upper body muscles. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's not that's not my favorite thing. You look you look more sharp here too, don't you? Yeah. Well, I don't know. My wife hasn't been cooking too much in the last month, so I, I lost some weight. <laughs> Do you, you don't eat hamburgers now? Uh, no. Well, the last I had one in February one time, mm -hmm. but that's I don't. Ham no, no, hamburgers aren't. If I have a choice, I'd probably eat. Chinese or Mexican food. But like hamburgers, you eat them during the Tour of France? Oh, I've had them, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the same as if you have a steak and half the time in the races you have steak and cheese and fried potatoes. It's mm -hmm. basically Ka <laughs> Kathy told us you especially like chocolate chip cookies. That Is I like, yeah. yeah. Would, would you eat them now at this part oh, of the sure. season? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean... Well, then you're lucky. <laughs> well, you're lucky, John. That's why. Thank you, honey. Thank Kathy. you. That's why I didn't see you up there. Kathy, <laughs> that's why. Kathy begins to be grabbing all of them off. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Stel eerst een vraag. Was it difficult to keep your mouth? To what? <laughs> Put me out. Just. Oh. <laughs> just, just not to tell him anything. Extremely. Yeah. Extremely difficult. I only had a little hint of something because there was a cassette mm -hmm. from the show mm -hmm. that you were at my house, but I never knew you were filming me. And, and what about the kids? They didn't say a they word. Didn't they anything. didn't even think about it. Mm -hmm. Kelly, what's so special about Greg? Good question. Oh. <laughs> Shut your I mouth. Don't know. <laughs> Sounds like I eat a lot. No. Well, she doesn't miss me. Oh, I miss you. No. <laughs> no, so, oh. That what, was bad. What no, are his qualities? He's, he's uh, I don't know, he's like got a good heart. He's honest. He's kind. Sometimes. Sensitive. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, he's, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, well, he's back great. to normal. Kathy, you put Greg ahead of everything. Do you feel well in his shadow? Yeah, I'm fine. But yeah, he, he does come first. At this point in our lives, he, he comes first. Mm -hmm. uh, when you were 20, you gave up everything. You followed him to Europe. Never doubted? No. Never. Why? I don't know. We were crazy, crazy in love. Were? Were, you saying? 
I, I, yes, I'm actually, remembering all these words too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at that point, like in the beginning of a relationship, sometimes you you are like a little crazy. You're, you don't think clearly, and that's a little bit how we were in the beginning. And now we have to live our lives. So and how is it to be a racist wife in the race? For instance, during the Tour of France, that you well, always follow. Uh, everybody thinks she follows a lot of races. The only race she ever comes to is, is the, tour. the Tour. That's it. Uh, Oh, we know. We saw it Saturday. Yeah, she stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> but how is it to be a racist wife in the race? Oh, it's kind of difficult because the team doesn't really want you there. Although Zed is pretty good about me. But um, generally they don't like the wives there, so it makes it even harder. It's, it's a man's world? Completely. <laughs> well, it's normal. It's, 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 it's your job. You it's don't bring your wife to work with uh, you. Yeah, she's so. here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Normally. <laughs> no, but you said at this point of our lives, so it's going to change uh, after his career, I suppose. Who's going to be the most She's important? She's going to go to work. <laughs> yeah, and I'll stay home. No, what are you going to do when, when the career is oh, over? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think more now, at this point in his career, it's like we have to make sure Greg rests or... I mean, Greg's wishes do come first. You know, the kids well, have to be... I'm not <laughs> demanding. No, but... What he wants generally would come. Just speak frankly. <laughs> he, he is demanding, of course. No, no he's not. No? no, he's very nice. Sometimes, but not often. But he's also got a big job ahead of him, so he needs somebody to help him. If he asks me to do something, it's because he needs it done, and he doesn't have the time. Mm -hmm. uh, Greg Z is a producer of children's clothing. Your image as uh, the perfect hus husband, as a father, did it help you in negotiating the contract? Uh, I think it helped uh, fr from their part. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that was the attraction for me to go with them. Is that uh, attention? Now he's suggesting that you have had children just to get along with <laughs> Seth. Oh, no, we yeah. had oh. children before. Well, no, we, she was already pregnant when. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that might have been a good good reason. Uh, said it's, it's important that. I think if they have a leader that he's has kids and, and is a family. I family remember man. in '89 with the yellow jersey with Jeffrey right. at the podium. Right. That was just uh, purely coincidence. I just saw, he was the first first thing I saw when I crossed the line. Oh, Kathy! But then he was st standing right there, and I was so happy that I. And Zed was very satisfied. Him. Yeah, but he, they, I, I wasn't even really in contact with Zed at that point. Mm. They had just talked to me one time, but. At that point, uh, I was... Uh, it was just a coincidence. Coincidence, yeah. yeah. Goed, nu gaan we voort met... Oh, I'll try to explain uh, what it is. It's, uh, it's called uh, That's Talk. Dames en heren, klare taal.